all right guys welcome back man today has been an absolute treat truth be told i'm supposed to be at a party in about 10 15 minutes a family gathering and i'm a little late but you know what they say video games always come first actually no that's that's a lie that's horrible advice do not follow the just forget about it okay guys welcome to the all new gotham knights game trailer i think it's also been about a year since we last saw this game when we first saw this game unlike the suicide squad game we actually got to see gameplay of this one and it looked really good so i'm excited hopefully we get some gameplay within this trailer if not it's okay i just want to see more of what the story has in stores for us i don't know what year is going to be releasing but if it does come out next year 2022 it is going to be one heck of a year because i know there's already a good amount of games coming out next year but it was expected considering that 2021 was a little bit was a little lackluster but uh yeah let's do this all right guys here we go batman shit jim gordon they thought they had a handle on this city is that the penguin talking they never did bro look at all the characters you bro don't stand a chance yeah, i think that is the penguin because they're always watching always listening pulling everybody's strings mine yours but no one talks about them it's the court of owls man not a whispered word is yep. said the penguin the court of owls is a myth <laughs> they're listening bro i love this fucking universe so much This is going to be so sick, man. Wow, bro. this rabbit hole you need to know there's no coming back from it yes yes what year is it gonna be releasing gotham knights bro step into the night 2020 dude next year is gonna be so freaking good i mean given there, there could be any you know some delays or what have you but wow next year is gonna be loaded i mean we already got two DC games coming out, which I believe are going to be AAA, or at least I'm hoping for. And then all the other games we've talked about and seen here on the channel for next year, considering that this year's been a little slow. But anyways, back to this, the Court of Owls. Speaking of the Court of Owls, I need to continue watching Gotham because I stopped watching it when the Court of Owls got introduced. I need to finish that show. I feel like a lot of people are probably going to be a little bit disappointed. I, I feel like we're probably going to get some gameplay as well, considering that last year we got gameplay. But with the same token, I remember leaving last year's trailer that was gameplay. Obviously, really excited about the game, but it it I feel like it didn't deliver enough on how heavy the story might possibly be because it was just all gameplay. And I, I feel like a part of the reason why this trailer might be mainly just cinematics and cutscenes is maybe for that reason. We already got gameplay, which I feel like it was actually done the right way. Like we we, we can expect that this game is pretty pretty advanced already or at least close to being finished considering that a year ago we got gameplay and now we're getting trailers that include cinematics cutscenes which is diving deeper and deeper into the fact that this game might really have a good story which gameplay is something but then you can have phenomenal gameplay but if the story sucks it's it's just it just you know you need to have both so the fact that we got a really good amount of story being told here we now know that it's exclusively about the Court of Owls. 
what happened to batman to bruce wayne is he really dead is he has to be has he been captured by the court of owls i mean this is a huge possibility within this game and what's gonna happen if he has been captured by the court of owls i don't know man this this is exciting i feel like i feel like this game is gonna be really really good i know it was a little bit of mixed reviews um in last year's gameplay some people liked it some people really didn't i loved it and i i, I feel like this game is gonna be really fun um i know this is a little bit different but playing the gotham uh, the arkham knight dlcs where you got to play as the other characters um although this is not from rocksteady i do feel like maybe this game will have a little bit of that flavor where you get to play as all these different characters which ultimately i feel like it's gonna be really fun so let me know in the comments your thoughts opinions are you excited for this game 2022 is looking pretty damn promising so far and i cannot wait so thank you again and uh catch you later